Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I want to share with you a little bit of a story uh, that you can make using Blender and Fredjok nodes. So basically, the story is that um, there's this kind of setup that allows you to subdivide a quad, four-sided polygon. So it, it will not work with a triangle or n gone, but it will work on a quad. So basically, um, this setup should allow you to subdivide this this quad in a in a fun, in a funny way so it's not like quad become another quad with four sided but it's slightly off and this is actually quite interesting if you if you know uh, an artist called Mondrian this is actually kind of similar to what he's doing if you are actually doing it uh, using grease pencil, this is also possible. And you are basically doing these subdivisions, but in a slightly offset kind of way. So it's slightly off. And it's actually creating an interesting pattern. So it was asked um, to Blender Dev, uh, Stretch of Developer, and so Zephy tried to make one, and he actually, he did, he did make it. He used a script node that actually does this. From normal quad, it will subdivide it into this. So, fast forward the story. So, Victor Dorval, another Stretch developer, create a setup, and it's it, it does the job, and it's it's using the monad. This is also really interesting because it's do it can do it automatically and recursively. But the, apparently, there is a little maybe like, like a bug in Stretch that's kind of making it crash, making Blender crash. So anyway, I show that you can also do it using grease pencil, just draw it, etc. But uh, I actually, Benny, Benny actually made something similar. You can actually do it using cycle shader as well. That's that will work. But uh, to save uh, the step, anyway, if I I'm gonna show you this setup that actually works and this one doesn't doesn't crash blender so you can save save the blend reopen it doesn't crash so I'm using script script note from Zephy from Zephy up there uh, yeah this script note I use it so it will work you start with a plane and it will subdivide it and you actually get that thing on the green, the, the green one, the green color one. So this is one, you can uh, you can bake it, and you get this plane, but this one already subdivided. So interesting, right? This is interesting. So from that one, I I use polygon boom. I follow a Victor Dorval idea, but I just simplify it. Um, so before I go to polygon boom this script node from Zephy does a funky thing like like what I said it's a, it's playing with the topology it's subdividing it in a funky way right and I'm using this random number to work with that so we know that we can do that so now we can actually polygon boom and from polygon boom I'm using list item here for the vertices and edges and polygon so this can be collapsed actually and I'm reassigning it into the same script node so there's uh, some kind of um, iterations happening now for each phase of the polygon I'm gonna be generating this guy and instead of using number I will be using actually frame so this frame will randomize the subdivisions and also subdivide the polygon so I'm doing it in a in a way that's it's gonna work on the on the correct frame so we have four sided polygon from this plane so each one of them will get a new face with a funky subdivision right so hopefully you follow up to this far and the way I bake it so it's a 
it's kind of funny. Maybe you think, okay, I just duplicate it. And then I, I move one, one frame and duplicate it again, move another frame, duplicate again, duplicate again. So, so it's done. This is how I work it out. So, so now we have the new uh, polygon with all this funky subdivision, right? So it's not fully automatic. This is, there's a bit of a manual, but if your brain is about the same as mine, it's easier to understand it this way. So, so instead of using a plane, perhaps you are using like a cricket. So let's plug in the cricket. So with the cricket, you're gonna have how many face? Well, let's see. Supposedly, you're gonna get a bunch of polygon face. Okay, probably not quite work. Let me check if we use a proper box node instead of grid. So with the box, we can actually subdivide the face. Okay, seems to be working. on one of the polygon face only so if I'm not wrong, maybe my setup is slightly wrong, let me check, let me open another blend Of yesterday, this one. So this one doesn't seem to crash. So I can, I can bring in objects like maybe like Suzanne. Yeah, let's try this. Actually, it's a, let's try with cricket notes. I think I simplified the setup. Okay with the cricket node and this setup yeah i think i simplify it further so i don't use this guy twice i'm simply doing this funky subdivisions on the cricket so we have one six nine six polygon face that we need to work with so occasionally it's a it's gonna give error but it's doing the it's gonna give error if, if if it finds like it's not a quad but it, you you will see there's a 1000 1696 okay 1696 let's actually operate on all this face file export obj selection only as animations so i'll create a new folder just export the object and it's gonna process through all these uh, funky subdivisions it's around 1700 times okay so while it's doing that let's actually check it out so i can see it's still working so that's good um the one thing with this is actually gonna create a new material for each polygon face of the cricket so that's could be an issue but anyway let's reopen another blender and try to re-import all this object so now it's looks like it's up to 720 764 so it's all what we expect to find is that for each face of the cricket mesh it's gonna uh, 
it's gonna do the subdivisions still working on it file import I have this import multiple obj this is actually an add-on go to desktop just reload this guy yep and just wait for a few seconds you will see that we're gonna get the cricket with all these uh, funky subdivisions and in the end you can actually get a result like something like this and I'm using I'm using cycles and with cycles I actually use the I separate every face and for every island I color it differently so that's what happening here this one already finished exporting this one still importing so this might take a while but maybe we just wait but anyway you get the idea so what I did is separating every polygon face of the cricket node and through all this process it's gonna subdivide it for us so let's zoom into one of them one of the face and you, you can see there's a subdivision there already imagine this for each and every face so I'm thinking okay maybe there's maybe there's a way so that we can actually bake it without exporting out as obj that's actually possible if you're actually using monad and you just need to put this guy under monad so that's actually the interesting part right create monad so ideally this monad should the job should do the job for us for each one of the the data so cricket polygon boom monad turn on factorize and maybe split or loop and we should end up with a with a result, a result. so I turn on factorize seems to be working so we're gonna end up with 1696 object this one's still importing so importing obj apparently so over 1000 objects importing can become super slow that's one thing but I think this is anyway still this is still processing I still think the whole setup is actually quite interesting so if you really go back to the algorithm how Zephyr created and then it's actually based on this tutorial uh, for Houdini you can do this um, using Blender using special algorithm written in Python this is script note for Spreadshop and the whole thing becoming simple simple for me maybe simple for you as well so but it's a quite interesting workflow and yeah you can end up with something that's quite complex so hopefully you find this one useful so it's still processing right when it's done I will save screenshot and give it to you but anyway thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye